Mind Jerk here. I hear this all the time. You're standing in a mega grocery store. You can't see the walls. You can't see the clocks. You can't find anybody to help you that's actually tasted the wines. It can be a little overwhelming and confusing. It can start to feel like the Twilight Zone. Don't despair. Sometimes I have to shop at the grocery store too. Here's some wines that I found at the grocery store that you'll enjoy. And they won't break the bank. The Zaka Mesa Viognier is a crisp, light white wine, perfect for warm summer evenings. The Ramsey is a fun, spicy Pinot Noir, and apparently a favorite of the crew. Uh, the Poppy is a very soft Cabernet Sauvignon from the Central Coast. It goes with just about anything. To be safe, I like to stay in the $10 to $15 range. That's where all these wines come from. That's about the minimum that you're going to spend on a bottle of wine that you're going to enjoy. To be sure, cheap bottles of wine abound at the grocery store as well. My advice is to avoid the cheap stuff, wines that are $6 and under. These wines can be tempting, but in the end, they're usually just cheap wine. Here's two wines that have been in the news a lot lately. I don't recommend these wines at all. I don't know what they're for, but it's definitely not for drinking. So remember, when you're at the grocery store, try to avoid those wines that are $6 and under. Be willing to spend a little bit more, and I'm sure that you're going to find something that you enjoy. This is Mr. Christopher at TheWineJerk.com. Thanks for joining me today. Friends, I know I was a little harsh earlier on the uh, barefoot wines, but I just want to let you know I did find a purpose for them. What I like to do is I just pour a little bit on the weeds to help kill them. Seems to be working very well. Okay, this weed is a tough weed, but we brought something even tougher. I like to pour a little bit on here. The arsenic level and the whatever else they got in here, go make sure and kill that weed dead. Thank <laughs> you.